Today, we're going to be taking a look at what might just be the greatest leap I've ever seen for Minecraft graphics. In fact, there's a solid chance that outside of, say, a pre-rendered cutscene, you've never seen anything like this. This is what an early access version of the Distant Horizons mod is now capable of, and people have been wanting this for years, the ability to use shaders with incredible render distances. There's been solid options in the past, for example, Optifine allowed you to run 64 render distance with shaders, however doing so is kind of a GPU killer, and newer mods like C2ME along with Sodium and Iris also allow you to do so with increased performance. But the thing is, 64 render distance still isn't all that close to what Distant Horizons is offering us. I know it's a crazy thing to say, especially since since most people don't play anywhere near 64 render distance. But here's a comparison against Distant Horizons and you can see just how drastic the difference is. And the thing is, Distant Horizons is making your game look like this at a very respectable frame rate. Granted, I am playing the game on a 4090, which is obviously helping, but keep in mind, I'm also recording at 4K resolution, so there's a solid chance your frame rate could end up higher than mine if you're playing at a resolution like 1080p. Now, Distant Horizons with this shader already shines on its own, but you can get even more out of it. And that's because some terrain generation mods make it look absolutely incredible. And normally my go-to terrain gen mods include mods like Terralith or Terra, but I found that the most striking scenery with Distant Horizons was actually provided by the Tectonic mod, and I can explain why. Mods like Terralith, and especially Terra, look really great at shorter render distances, as the world details are very compact and close together. Each section of terrain just doesn't take up all that much space. Tectonic, on the other hand, features massive grand open areas, which, at least in my opinion, it doesn't work very well when playing at normal render distances like 16. Most of the time, you really aren't going to see all that much of anything. And in my opinion, the opposite effect actually takes place at higher render distances. Mods like Terra pretty much have too much detail when playing with Distant Horizons, as the very fine details just start to look strange in the distance and blur together in a way that's not that interesting to look at. I wouldn't say it's ugly or anything like that, far from it. I just don't think it looks as good as Tectonic does. And obviously this is just my opinion, it's completely subjective, but it's just the way I see it. And pretty much any type of world generation works with Distant Horizons including structure mods, which are especially awesome to include, honestly. I mean, the ability to spot locations from this far away gives the render distance an all-new purpose. And I think the mod When Dungeons Arise is a great way to show this off, as the structures it provides are generally pretty huge. Usually, I'm not one to actually use this mod, as I find that massive structures just generally feel a little out of place, but Distant Horizons pretty much alleviates that entirely for me. It does a great job of making it feel like these massive structures should be in your world. Overall, I'm just so impressed with this mod. It was already awesome awesome before it supported shaders, and now it's just downright incredible. Right now, as I mentioned before, this is early access, so only a few shaders are currently compatible at the moment, so it'll be really cool to see how this looks with other shaders in the future. And honestly, I think this is one of the most exciting mod features to be released in a very long time. And anyway, I hope you guys find this to be as exciting as I do. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.